Well, Arizona's getting back up just hours ago. Michigan Attorney General Mike Cox filed a legal brief signed by attorneys generals from eight other states and one U.S. territory. So where did he file it? And what does the brief say? Michigan Attorney General Cox joins us live. Good evening, sir. So first of all, um, tell the viewers where this, uh, this brief is being filed or has been filed, sir. Greta, we filed it in the federal district court in Arizona where the Obama administration is suing Governor Brewer and the citizens of Arizona. As you indicated, there's a total of nine states. And basically, we're, we're standing up for the principle of state sovereignty, that, this, that the state of Arizona can address problems concurrently to the federal government, especially where the federal government isn't doing the job it's supposed to. All right, states are Florida, Alabama, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota. Did I name them all? I guess I could look at the certificate of service, but, uh, and uh, I think I named most of them, didn't I? You got um, most of my, I think. Northern, Mar I was, I was, North, Northern Mariana Islands. I think I got them all. Texas? Texas, Florida. Um, so um, are any of the states that have filed these, are any of them filed by Democrats, or are these all represented by Republicans? Right now, these are all Republican states. Uh, there was at least a 10 other states who said they wanted to jump in as this case progressed. As you know, Greta, for attorney generals and governors, it's a very important principle, uh, the idea that states are, have important powers that are concurrent in our federal system. system. A and the idea of state sovereignty, that the state can operate concurrently where the federal government isn't solving a localized problem, goes back, you know, 200 years to the founding. In fact, one of the great Supreme Court justices of all time, Louis Brandeis, once said that it's a great incident of the federal system that states can experiment in ways that benefit the nation. All right, tell me the dynamics in your home state. You are running for governor against uh, Congressman Hookstra, who also wants it. Is, uh, we have a primary runoff against him. Is he in agreement? Has he come out uh, and said that he supports this or not? I, I haven't seen anything from uh, Pete at all uh, on, this, on this issue. Uh, I expect he probably does, uh, but I, I can tell you that uh, uh, everywhere I go across the state of Michigan, we are a border state as well. People are very worried about what's going on in Arizona for two reasons. The idea that the federal government is falling down on the job and, and that, that Governor Brewer had to step up uh, to, to attempt to fix a problem that the feds are supposed to be taking care of. And then generally the, the idea of, of illegal immigration. You know, we had a terrorist attack, attempted a terrorist attack over uh, Christmas. And we are a border state, and people are concerned, as they rightly should be. Have you spoken to Governor Brewer at all? Yes, yeah, so we spoke for quite a while yesterday. Uh, she was very grateful that uh, Michigan and, and eight other states were joining the fight, uh, standing up for the idea that she's standing up for. Uh, you, you know, the, the reality is, is, is all Arizona is doing is mirroring what federal law are, already allows. This, the, the reasonable suspicion or section two, which says if a police officer has reasonable sus suspicion that someone's an illegal immigrant or undocumented, that they hold them to verify. That Congress passed a law saying that the Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, should cooperate with this. Congress has contemplated that states and the federal government would work together in the way that Arizona is trying to do. If this is so obvious to you and the other Republicans who've joined in this, and of course Arizona, why do you think President Obama and his Justice Department filed this lawsuit against Arizona? You, you know, Greta, I, I don't quite understand. I, I think perhaps they're out of touch or they're defensive by the fact that they haven't done anything to move the ball. Or it could be very well what uh, Senator McCain or, or I think said earlier uh, that it was a crass attempt to try and, and lock in the, the Hispanic vote going forward. I hope that's not the case. As I expect, there's a lot of Hispanics all across the country uh, who want to stand up for the idea of secure borders and, and you know, the idea that states ought to fend for their citizens when the federal government isn't. If you sort of step back, it's quite interesting what's going on in this country. I mean, the fact that uh, your state is joining in Arizona, a bunch of Republican um, right. uh, attorneys generals or governors, and you've also got the same sort of lines drawn on the national health care, the pending lawsuits in, in, uh, in Virginia and in uh, Florida. I mean, it's very interesting how we have this dynamics. So there's such a divide, and uh, everyone's fighting it out uh, uh, quite aggressively right now. Well, I, I think it's really a matter where the federal government is 
saying to the states, you don't matter. Uh, you know, they want to control everything, whether it be health care policy, immigration policy, even when they're failing. And, and I think it's just a natural pushback by states saying, hey, when the founders got together, they created this co-extensive system uh, where there's a federal government and states. And, and there are powers reserved to the states and to the people, as it put forth in the Tenth Amendment. And, and states have the right to assert their sovereignty, and, and we're certainly doing that in health care. And we're standing up with Governor Brewer to do that here in immigration, especially right, where Arizona. I'm sorry. I, I only have 30 seconds left. Let me ask you a quick question. Do you think it's more of a divide between state governments and state rights and the federal government, or is it more of a divide between the Republicans and the Democrats? I, I think it's more the, fed, the federal government and states. Uh, oftentimes, whether it's fighting lemon laws or, or mortgage, regulation mortgage brokers, uh, attorney generals and governors push back against the federal government. And so this is a, a natural tension that exists in, in our federal system, and a good one, especially where the federal government is letting down uh, here in immigration, and here we have a state stepping forward and to try and protect its citizens. All right, one quick question. I literally got five seconds. I'll get in right. trouble with my producer. But do you intend to go to the oral argument on this matter, which is later this month? No, we filed an amicus brief. We're not allowed time to oral for oral well, argument, but obviously we'll, we'll be following it. All right, Attorney General, thank you, sir. Thank Next, you very much, Greta. A political